All right, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whenever it is you see this. No, I never get this right. Hey, it's Steve from Corsair Trainers, and today we're going to talk about, again, but actually try to show you this time, what imminent signs of violence look like, so when we're talking about this use of force stuff. And we have a special guest with us. Let me see if I can get him in there. Where are you? All right, hold on, there you are. There's Dennis. He's decided to come play a uh, victim and bad guy with me so we could help show you guys what some of this looks like for you guys that really don't have the life experiences to know what it is bad guys do. So we're going to try to demonstrate some of it. It's kind of part two to the one where I was talking about it. All right, stay tuned. All right, so like on the other video that we were talking about, we were talking about the different things that show you that a bad guy is going to do something. So right now, Dennis is going to play good, normal person hanging out at the park in sunny California. So all you guys that are sitting in the snow and the rain and everything else right now, <laughs> we're in sunny. Just hanging out, having a good playing with his phone or whatever and I am the a-hole uh, the obvious one the first one is the get in your face one when they just come up and they're like hey man what's your problem what's your problem so when I get up here he should be uncomfortable that's that's normal and they want that so that would be the first thing is they want to figure out some reason to close the gap between you and them why because then they can hit you but they got to so I'm here and we're having a discussion and I don't like what's going on and then all of a sudden I do this and now I'm literally puffing up like a damn chicken because I want to get bigger I want to intimidate him I want to show him that you know you ain't all that it seems absolutely silly but if you watch YouTube videos or if you got any real life experience you'll see dudes that are just hanging out like this no big deal and all of a sudden mad and one of them decides to puff up like a chicken and that's what we call it puffing up like a chicken okay so uh if you guys are paying attention, if you're not, you got to watch the situational awareness videos. We're reshooting some of this because my microphone doesn't work good. I don't know. I'm trying. So we're going to do this puffing up like a chicken thing again. So Dennis is hanging out here. He's having a good time. And I go to get in his face. And we call it puffing up like a chicken because literally they will puff up like a chicken. They stick their chest out. They get up here. And guys, you all see this one. Don't move. We're going to do the chest bumpy thing, yeah? Oh. Where they, what's up, man? What's up, man? That <clears throat> BS. We all see it. That's puffing up like a chicken. They literally puff up like a chicken. And, real quick, I got to say, uh, Ontario Homestead, thank you for reminding me about the whole getting up on the balls of their feet. When they're puffing up like a chicken, they also get up here. Or, when they're getting ready to throw a punch, they get up on the balls of their feet to do it. So, Guy was a bouncer, knows some stuff. Make some more videos. So they just don't think I'm the only guy saying this stuff. The next one that we can cover that, that is the obvious is they tell you. They tell you what they're going to do. I could be this far away and I could say, hey man, I'm going to beat your beep. Well, I had a beef in there. I'm going to beat you. They're telling you because they're trying to intimidate you. So you add in the puff up the chicken. I'm coming over here. I'm telling you, man, I'm going to beat you. Right? You got to watch my mouth because the little one. <laughs> these are all signs of imminent violence do you have to wait around for something to happen no there's things you can start doing before then but those are just a couple all right so one of the next signs of something's coming besides that i've closed the distance with them because remember i kind of want to get in this head smacking kind of distance is the look around there's a couple different ways they do this look around thing the look around can start from back here they can start walking up and yeah, man, what's your problem, dude? Why, you know, why do I need to come over here and talk to you? And I'm looking to see who's looking, to see who's going to be a witness. Uh, now, up close and personal when they're doing it, they're talking to you, but they're not looking at you. So if we get Dennis in the middle there, and, and instead of here where I'm focused on him, I start doing this. And I'm just shifting my weight, and I'm just looking around, and maybe I'm still talking to him. Maybe I'm still closing the distance, but I'm looking. And the obvious one, the biggest obvious one, and I'll do this right-handed for you right-handed people, is when they do this. Because I'm doing a couple things right there. We'll get into the other ones. But I'm taking that last look before I decide to come over here and clock him. All right, so this next one that we're talking about when it's an imminent sign of violence is the turning of the shoulder. It's such a giveaway, but so many people don't notice it. So we're standing here and, and we're squared up on each other. Now, when I start to decide that I'm going to hit him, one of the things that a lot of people do, being right-handed, is they'll duck that right shoulder back. So you combine a couple of things we were talking about. You get the look around, this one coming back, and next thing you know, it comes out. Boom! 
and they think that by swinging from way out here they're going to get all kinds of power so they'll duck that shoulder to let you know it's coming and then uh we'll switch sides and everybody can see my backside and then the same thing we're standing here and all of a sudden i dip that shoulder back it doesn't got to be a lot i'm kind of exaggerating it a little bit it could simply be that but as soon as i try to square up on you or blade up on you to get that shoulder back i'm going to come across with it so then again uh, just so you get all three kinds of views of this because this is a really big one that dudes do is we're standing here talking and then all of a sudden i kind of posture up on you i turn sideways on you a little bit and i dip that shoulder i just tick that shoulder back because i want to spring off on it it's the big one okay so going along with this eminent signs of violence um in some of the other videos i talked about the level of bad guy so you'll get two things they do with their head there's the i'm going to intimidate you one and that's when they do this they throw the head back and they want to puff up like a chicken because putting your head back makes you look like a bigger chicken and uh so you put your head back get your chest out and get right up on them that tells you they're kind of a a ruffian because we like the word ruffians i use that a lot yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's the ruffian thing they're not a highly skilled fighter or they don't have a lot of experience in fighting they're basically street punks when they do that right so for you guys out there they're like well i do that well you're a street punk and shut up all right so now if you got a guy that's been in a couple scraps or he's got some skills and it's getting to that point where it's going to start to get stupid they'll duck their head they'll put their head down and talk to you why because they're protecting their chin they're protecting all this because they don't want you to clock them and they go down all wow. right so let's put some of this all together so dennis is at the park in sunny california having a good day with his family and uh, he annoys me because he said out loud he was better looking than me and we know that's not true. So I'm gonna come up to him and say something and first thing I gotta do is turn my hat sideways because I'm a gangster thug and uh, we're gonna do this, right? So now when I come up to him, I'm gonna combine all these things together. I come up and say, hey man, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna get right up on him and I'm right here. Why? Because this leads us to the next thing that's gonna happen, the sucker punch. But for right now, all these things are going on. All these things are imminent signs of violence. He could be standing there and trying to stay on camera here. We got little markers on the ground. <laughs> so it can start from back here. Hey man, I'm gonna beat your ass. Now, does he have to wait till he get all the way up here? No, he can start making distance right then. And this will kind of lead into some of the other videos. So if we're hanging out and I've decided to get stupid with him and I come up and I'm like, hey dude, I'm gonna beat your ass exactly he's already starting to make time space and distance why because i want to get real close to him and we'll just kind of foreshadow another video um i want to get right up in here so when i throw that punch i don't miss it's right there it's another video i want to thank dennis for taking the time out of his day to come do this with me because it's kind of hard to do by yourself 